what is the misogyny game? Um, the misogyny game is this game that men play, but women play it too. Women also partake. Um, where, you know, you just hate on women. Like it's a fucking pastime. And you kind of try to one-up each other by, by hating on a woman or women. Um, it's very fucked up. It's very commonplace. And women actually also participate in it. Um, I said the misogyny game kind of in passing to someone I was talking to. But then I was like, wait, that's actually really a thing. Um, you know, the misogyny game is when you make fun of women when men try to compete with how much they can make fun of a woman or women um and it's it's very toxic it's very commonplace i i think it's probably the most like commonplace activity you know men have with women um especially when the women aren't there you know if the woman is there <laughs> You're not playing the misogyny game, chances are, but if she ain't there, then, oh yeah, you're playing the misogyny game, lol. Um, you know, the misogyny game is just this ongoing thing of, like, how can we, this mentality of, like, how can we hate women more? How can we make fun of women more? How can we mock women more? How can we degrade women more? How can we keep these unhealthy ideas we have about women alive <laughs> how can we keep these stereotypes we have about women alive you know and it's like it's so messed up it's so messed up and just wrong um you know people play the misogyny game all the time um just kind of a just kind of a go-to of mine because love hating on TRAs because they hate on women. Um, I'm not I'm not hating on TRAs right now though. I'm actually just gonna criticize them. I don't know that they can differentiate between criticism and hatred, but let's give them a go. Let's give it a whirl. So the whole reason I even said misogyny game was I was. Again, randomly stumbled upon someone's Instagram from my past. I didn't really know her, but I knew that she became a TRA. She became trans or something. I don't fucking know, honestly. I tried to talk to her about it, but obviously to no avail. Um, but she posted this fucking goddamn... I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I'm saying this and it's true. She posted this video quite a while ago. Um encouraging and upholding and supporting Andy Dyer, a known child molester who also interrupted Rose McGowan's talk. The one she, she was like, I just will have none of this, this white feminist shit or some, something like that. And like, that's a cute, that's a cute way that they play the misogyny game, right? Is they just like say, oh, that's white feminism. Eh. And, and then the argument is shut, everything is shut down. You're like, oh, it's been named as white feminism. Okay, everyone, it can, it's totally discredited. We can, everyone can go home. You know, some fucking bullshit like that. But, like, that's what I'm saying is that women play the misogyny game, too. Andy Dyer has been playing the misogyny game since he was raped or something as a kid. Id Gaff, come at me. Um, and now he thinks that by pretending to be a woman... Like, he's gonna remedy that or something? Like, he's gonna fix his trauma? I don't fucking know or care. And I also don't fucking know or care who the shit you are. Um, behaving the way that Andy Dyer behaved towards Rose McGowan was not acceptable. People don't... You don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that, really, for any reason. For anyone's talk. You know? And it's just... It's so dumb. Like... But so the misogyny game is, you know, just this game that people play all the time. And, and they're always trying to, like, criticize women or bring women down or make fun of them. Um, believe it or not, Mum was actually pretty involved with Occupy back, back in the day, all the way back in the day. Was that 2011? Um, 
but uh, someone posted a video on Tumblr, I remember. And I didn't have the language to really understand it until later when someone reposted. But someone posted a video of these, these beautiful women protesting at Occupy. Being like, wow, these women are so beautiful protesting at Occupy. What are they doing not having jobs? And, you know, I'm sure the same goddamn person would make another fucking video being like, these women are working. Why aren't they protesting at Occupy? You know, that kind of bullshit. But, like, this video just really bothered me. It was just called Beautiful Women. It was something like Beautiful Women Organizing or Beautiful Women at Occupy or something. And so I was like... And it was just it was just the women talking about like why they were protesting and they were good looking, you know? But so this video that was made was making fun of them. And later, uh someone who probably wasn't even a radical feminist, but someone was like, Yeah, this is really infantilizing of women saying, like, oh, they're protesting and beautiful, isn't that cute? <sighs> okay, and one thing to remember here, kids, is that um Prostitution ain't no joke, but people like to make jokes about it because people tend to make jokes about things that make them uncomfortable, right? So these people who are making fun of prostitution and like lolling about um, women being commercially raped are playing the misogyny game. I, I drove, I used to drive for Lyft and I drove these two spoo drags one time and they were talking about being in um, Las Vegas, and they were like, oh yeah, haha, we played this game where, like, you didn't know if she was, like, just a regular girl or a prostitute, it was like, spot the prostitute, like, it's so funny, it's so hilarious, dude, yeah, it's so funny, oh my god, lol, well, all fucking day long, this woman is forced to be a prostitute because whatever her life whatever her life circumstances are, she has to resort to being commercially rape and resorting to the commercial rape industry, which is rape tapes, pornography, prostitution, webcamming, you name it, okay? And, and the whole reason that those fucking goddamn things profit is the misogyny game that everyone's always playing, right? It's like, it's like the elephant in the room that no one fucking wants to name, that that everyone wants to play. Everyone wants to play the game. Everyone wants to play the misogyny game. Everyone wants to, to laugh at disadvantaged women. Everyone wants to make fun of women doing this, that, or whatever, you know? And it's like, how long are we going to play this bullshit? And and women, that's this is what I'm saying, is that, is that women do it too, you know? Women, maybe I'm fucking guilty of this for, for separating women from non-hops, smart, you know, smart women to hops. Am I playing the misogyny game there? Um, no, because any woman can stop being a hop. Every woman who is a hop can stop being one. And that's what I'm trying to tell them. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all is you don't have to act that way. Okay? You don't have to. But I'm saying that everyone is just always fucking playing this goddamn misogyny game, and I'm sick of it. You know, it's not funny to make fun of women like that. It's not funny to, like, hate on other women like that. Okay, here's here's another thing that I was thinking of that kind of disturbed me. Okay, I used to have this friend. Actually, she and I met through modeling. Okay, this... She and I were models, okay? But so we met through that, and then we were hanging out, because I thought she was cool, and I still actually do think she's a cool person. We chat occasionally on Instagram. But anyway, one time I was hanging out with her, and we were hanging out on her boyfriend's property, because her boyfriend was like 17 years older than her. I digress. Me, her... And her, a friend, were all kicking it on this dock, on this river. It was dope, right? And there are these other gals nearby, you know, hanging around, messing around on the on the shore, like, messing around in the mud, having a good time. And, like, I didn't fucking know those women. These were her neighbors, though. 
maybe, probably, right? These are her neighbors, and, like, so my friend, this is probably the last time we hung out, because I do not condone this behavior, and I don't fucking participate in it, and y'all need to stop doing it, for that matter, but, so, she and her friend were like, oh my god, ugh, what are those girls doing? Ugh, they look so stupid, and I was like, what are they doing to you? Nothing. They ain't doing shit to you, lady. They're just kicking it, having a good time like we're trying to. Like I was trying to until you fucking started playing the misogyny game. God. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. You know, people really like to hate on women as a group. As if we're all the same. Like, newsflash, everyone. We're not all the fucking same. Hello. Hello, we're not all the same. And there's no reason... Like, there's no misandry game, you know? Like, even though I hate on men all the time, it's one of my pastimes, I don't... It's not ever, 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 ever going to be on the same level as the misogyny game. It's just not. And, you know, I just, I wish people would stop this really horrible behavior, you know? And when, when I criticize other women, okay, like Hops, for example, I'm not hating on them inherently. I'm hating on the society that made them that way and made their behaviors okay. Like, it is not okay for anyone to spend copious amounts of time doing dumb shit that they don't fucking need to do. A show I totally recommend to everyone, which is on YouTube. I haven't watched it in a very long time, but it was on YouTube for a long time. Um, gosh, now I'm gonna not fucking remember. Okay, Obsessive Compulsive Cleaners. There's this show, there's this British fucking reality show where they take someone who is obsessive compulsively cleaning their house constantly and they they switch them with a person who has a fucking nasty ass like never been cleaned house and they get the overly cleanly person to go to the overly uncleanly person's house and you know they butt heads and shit and and they also often if it's a good episode learn from each other. You know, the, the, the uber clean, cleanly one is like, maybe I should chill out a little bit. And the uber uncleanly one is like, having a clean house is kind of nice. I should do this more often. I should clean more often, you know? Um, why did I bring that up? Why did I bring that up? Oh, I forgot. Okay, well. Okay, but so those people in um, obsessive compulsive cleaners do things like, um, clean their fucking sink 38 times a day. I'm serious. Y'all can watch the show. They actually do these things. Like, their, their sink was just cleaned, but they clean it again. Because it's not, it's too, it's dirty, you know, 45 seconds later. It's dirty when they have not touched it. But, like, it's not okay to behave that way. It's, it's, it hurts you when you behave that way. Okay, I laugh at this one guy, but maybe I shouldn't. This one guy... Um, uh, he, what he would do was he would, uh, vacuum or hoover, you English folks out there, he would vacuum his, um, like TV room living area, but he, because, you know, and you know how like there are stripes on the carpet if you vacuum it, he wouldn't go in the room to watch television and sit on his own couch because it was going to mess up the vacuum stripes he made on the carpet. Like, bruv, you need to chill out, okay? That kind of behavior is whack. And by the end of the episode, after he went to the untidy person's house, he was like, I'm sitting on my couch now. I don't have to fucking not step on the carpet stripes I made with my vacuum. Like, good for you, dude. Good. I'm glad you're not engaging in unhealthy, weird-ass behavior that wastes your time and also probably makes you more uncomfortable because, like, why aren't you sitting in the couch that you fucking bought to watch TV in? I don't know. Where am I even going with this? I just missed y'all and I wanted to make a video. So, 
don't engage in the misogyny game. And I'm probably even going to make a follow-up video to this because this is just such a broad, broad, broad topic. And the misogyny game needs to be stopped. What are you going to do about it?